So I started recently playing Temtem on the Xbox. So what is Temtem? A lot of people probably look at Temtem and think it's just a rip off of Pokemon. So first off, you wake up in your room in Pallet Town, I mean um, Sadar. Next, you have to pick one of three starters. Sounds familiar. Oh. Although this time, instead of fire, water, or grass, oh. it's going to be crystal, melee, or mental, oh. which is also like the psychic type. Um, then it's off to the obligatory rival battle. Um, you fight against Gary, up to, I mean Max. So now it's time to go and hunt some Temtem, -tem, and you guessed it, yes, in the tall grass. You still have to lower the health and capture them with Temtem -tem cards, which are basically the equivalent of Pokeballs. Just throw one when the health gets low. This is really where it sets itself apart from Pokemon. The battle system is actually really good and I thoroughly enjoy that. But the battling is not random. There's no certain amounts where, you know, sometimes you get a lucky hit. All the attacks are done um, tactfully and each Temtem has different abilities and stamina. So you can't just use your strongest attacks either all the way through. If you overexert, you miss a go and you lose health. So you don't want to be using your highest moves and try not to penalize yourself too much. And you don't want to be missing those turns, so you've got to play tactfully. Once you figure this out, using the strengths and weaknesses, um, you can use the chart online as well to help you out. This can range from a quarter damage to four times the damage if you get it right. So depending on your enemy's weaknesses, you really want to exploit them. The game is really story driven. You can't really um, fall off the path because it's highlighted for you where to go. There are trainer battles and of course it's an MMO so there's thousands of other people playing. And the best bit about this game is you can play it in co-op if you can find a friend to play it with. A great point to note is that the game is cross-play. So um, if your friend doesn't know it on Xbox, if they've got it on PlayStation, PC or Switch, you can also play with them. Yeah. Um, Temtem also has a couple of great features. So the healing, yeah, you heal in the towns like normal. So like your, your health centers, you can go to the Temporium as it's called. But they also have like little pit stops along the way, which have little shops as well next to them, which is handy. Um, you get a vial as well, which will heal up all your um, Temtem um, fully, which is brilliant when you're on the move. You can use this once before having to return. And the best bit is this doesn't take away from the challenging <laughs> aspect of the game. It just means that you hopefully won't get stuck mm. and frustrated. And uh, it's good for beginners as well. Like I said before, there is a storyline to the game. Um, so you fight these guys called Belsotto, which are basically the Team Rocket of the game. And you've also got dojo leaders, which are basically the gym leaders of the game as well for a challenge. So the game has a little bit of something for everyone. It's a great game, it's very addictive, it's unique and challenging. I definitely say this is one to pick up. Uh, don't blame me, however, if you spend hundreds of hours on this game. I believe the base story is about 30 hours long.